hello everyone welcome back to this video series wherein we are looking at the questions from the base certification prep guide in this video we will see the questions from the chapter which is titled producing descriptive statistics the first question says the default statistics produced by the means procedure are n which is nothing but count mean minimum maximum so the five default statistics produced by proc means are n mean minimum maximum and also standard deviation so we are looking for an option which has standard deviation so let us go and see if we have any such option so the third option is standard deviation let's say let's see if that is correct it says our response was correct and let's move on to the next question so which statement will limit a proc means analysis to the variables boarded transfer and deep plane so by default if we do not specify any uh, variables on uh, which uh, we want the descriptive statistics with proc means so it produces a array for all numeric variables so if we want to restrict it to specific variables so we need to specify them on var statement var statement so we are looking for an option which contains that so let us see if we have so the last option says var border transfer and deep plane so this is the correct answer let's see if it is actually the case so let us clear the notations and submit it so it says our response was correct let's move on to the next question so it says the data survey dot health includes the following variables so which is a poor candidate for proc means analysis proc means analysis is used for summarizing uh, numeric values which are continuous in nature so here if we see age weight and height are all like numeric and continuous values and id number is kind of like a unique value assigned to each of the record present in this data set so this may not be an ideal candidate for proc means because they will have almost a unique record for each of the uh, unique value in id number for each of the record present in survey dot health and mm, proc means is not like id num is not an ideal candidate for proc means analysis so let us go with that option and then see if it is the case so it says unlike age height or weight the values in id num are unique unlikely to yield any useful statistics with proc means so let us move on to the next question so which of the following statements is true regarding by group processing it says the first option says by by variables must be either indexed or sorted so whenever we are using by group processing with any procedures or data step so they must be the input data set records must be sorted by the by variable so this seems to be the correct one so let us take a look at the other options also before we conclude so the second option says summary statistics are computed for by variables no summary statistics will not be computed for by variables so it will be computed within the unique values of each of the by variable combination for a specific set of other numeric variables so but it is not the case here so by group processing is preferred when you are categorizing data that contains few variables by group processing is preferred when you are categorizing data that contains few variables so we i think we prefer a class statement here for processing when we have few variables so by group processing overrides your data set with the newly grouped observation it does not overwrite so we can actually create a new data set when we are running or generating descriptive statistics with by group processing so the first option seems to be the correct one let us go with that it says our response is correct let us move on to the next question so we have been given a output which says which group processing statement produce the proc means output shown below so here first we have survive sex and then an obs variable and followed by the default statistics and main standard deviation minimum maximum so variables uh, on the var statement may we may have values like active uh, 
arterial heart rate cardiac and urinary and then on at least by group uh, we are looking for a uh, class statement with survive and sex variables on it and on the where statement arterial heart cardiac and urinary so if we use uh, survive and sex on the by statement so what happens is a separate summary table is created for each of the by groups so but with a class statement a single large table would be created containing all the levels within a single table but with by group processing a separate table is created for each of the by variable combination values so but as we have a single output here so it must be generated using a class statement so let us clear the annotations and go and see which of the options has that class statement with values of survive and sex so here there are two class statements the first one is sex and survive and the next one is survive and sex so if we see here survive is coming on the left hand side so the order should be the same on the class statement so this seems to be the correct option let's see so it says our response was correct so let's move on to the next question so which program can be used to generate the following output so here if we see sex is being displayed and then number of observations contributing to that particular value variable n mean standard deviation and minimum and maximum the five default statistics so here let us take a look at the options so here we are looking for three variables on var statement age height and weight and one variable sex on the class statement so here we have class six class six and here we are using proc means and the second case we are using proc summary so proc summary by default does not produce an output in the output window or the results viewer but when we use print option on the proc summary so it produces it so proc means with age height and weight and class and then an output statement and proc summary with print option age height and weight with class uh, variable as sex so both these options seems to be correct because proc means by default produce an output in the output window proc summary with print option produces it in the output window all the other options uh, var statement and class statement seems to be the so seems to be syntactically correct in these two options so here if we take a look at the third option it is using a no print option with the proc means so if we use no print option the output is not generated in the results viewer tab or the output window so this is not the correct option so it says either proc means without no print uh, without no print option or proc summary with print option will produce the required result so last option which is handling like first and second options so as is correct so let's go ahead and see if this is actually the case yes it says our response is correct let's move on to the next question so by default proc free creates a table of frequencies and percentages for which data set variables so we have seen in earlier case that proc means by default produces a summary for all numeric variables but similarly for proc free it produces a table of frequencies for all the variables present in the input data it's, it does not restrict it to character or numeric so it produces a table for each of the variable present in the input data set so the option which has all the variables which says both character and numeric variables is the correct one so let us see if this is the case it says our response was correct so by default proc free creates a table for all variables in a input data set frequency distributions work best with the variables that contain so again frequency distribution is nothing but the number of rows containing a specific value so this kind of analysis is suitable where we have categorical values in the input variable so we are looking for an option that has categorical values so it says our response was correct both continuous and values and may and many unique values can result in lengthy and meaningless tables so frequency distributions work best with categorical values so the number of unique values should be a finite number it's not like any possible number of options it will generate a summary but that does not give us some useful information out of that analysis we run so it, it works best when we have uh, the 
frequency tables work when we have categorical values. So let us move on to the next question. It says which proc freak step produce this two way table. So here if we see on the left hand side within a particular cell. So there are four statistics present frequency percentage row percentage and column percentage. So there are some ways in which we can suppress any one of these using specific options on the table statement. So the next thing that we need to look for is the variable whose values are displayed as columns. So this one is weight and the variable whose values are displayed as uh, columns. So here the variable whose values are displayed as rows and the variable whose values are displayed as columns. So here if we see so we have weight so the syntax is the row definition versus column definition. So the values present in the variable which is specified on the first side will appear as rows the values present in the variable which is appearing on the right hand side of the asterisk sign in a two level table will appear as uh, columns. So we are looking for a table statement which has weight versus height. So let us see if we have any such options. So let us remove the annotations. So we are looking for a proc freak which contains the table statement of weight versus height. So here if we see uh, these two seems to be numeric variables for which a format of WT format is applied for weight and HDFMT is applied for height. So by default when we apply a format Procfreak generates the formatted values table. So here we are the only option which had weight versus height is this one. So the last option is correct but there is an additional information that we are making use of format statement. If we had another option which had weight and height without the format statement. So we should have uh, we should somehow see if the values are up formatted values or the original values. So let's go with the last option and then see if this is correct or not. It says our response was correct. So let's move on to the next question. So it says which proc freak step produced this table. So here on the left hand side we have the index which said only percent is being displayed. So all the other three frequency, row percentage and column percentage are suppressed. So as we discussed in the previous question that we can suppress any of the four by default statistics. So frequency can sub be suppressed with no freak option on table statement. Row percent can be uh, suppressed by using no row option and call percent can be suppressed by using no call option. So we are looking for an option which contains no freak, no row and no call the table statement. So and also if we see six variables values are appearing as rows and values of weight variable are appearing as columns. So we are looking for a table statement which has sex versus weight. So along with that we are looking for options of no freak, no row and no call. So let us see if we have any of those things. So first thing is sex versus weight. So we have one Two. So sex versus weight we have two rows and the say option second which has that table of sex versus weight has only no call used but we had to suppress frequency row percentage and column percentage. So last option seems to be the correct one. Let's go ahead and submit this and see if it works. It says our response is correct. Thank you for watching and keep learning.